Hey everybody, you might not be aware that running Home Assistant from an SD card on a Raspberry Pi is not an ideal situation. In the end, the SD card will fail because Home Assistant generates so much traffic on that SD card. The solution for this is to connect an SSD drive to your Raspberry Pi and boot Home Assistant from that SSD drive. I got quite some requests to create a video about this, so here it is. This is the tutorial that shows you how you can set up or migrate Home Assistant to a Raspberry Pi using an SSD drive. This tutorial is about setting up or migrating Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi using an SSD drive. What you need for this is a Raspberry Pi 4, a power supply for a Raspberry Pi, an SSD drive, a SATA to USB cable, an SD card and a network cable. It covers setting it up from scratch, but if you have it already running on an SD card, you better make a backup first because we can restore it during the process and then you will be up and running in minutes. So for those people who have Home Assistant already running, let's first create a backup. So for that, go to Configuration, Add-ons, Backups and Supervisors, then click on the Backups tab, and then we click on Create Backup. Give the backup a name, let's say Full Backup, and click Create. After you created the backup, you can download the backup to your hard drive by clicking on the backup's name, clicking on the three dots, click on download backup, and it gets downloaded to your hard drive. So, now you downloaded uh, the backup, we are going to the next step. To make sure that your Raspberry Pi can boot from an SSD drive, we have to flash your Raspberry Pi. So for that, we need a little bit of software, and the software is to be found on the Raspberry Pi site. And the links that I use in this video are all in the description below. So this is the Raspberry Pi site, and there is a tool here which is called Raspberry Pi Imager. We need to install that tool on our computer. For that, click on Download for Windows, or for Mac, or for Ubuntu, whatever system you use and install it on your system. I already got it installed, so I'm going to fire it up now. So this is the Raspberry Pi Imager, and what we are going to do is that we are going to flash our SD card. It's the only time that we need the SD card during this process, and after that you don't need it anymore. So first we're going to choose an OS, and we're not really going to install the OS, but we're going to install a utility. So for that go to Misc Utility Images, and then click on bootloader and then click on USB boot. Now we need to choose the storage device and for that make sure that your SD card is in an SD card reader on your PC first. Then click on choose storage and choose your SD card and then click on write. Yes, you want to overwrite everything and now we have to wait a little bit. Okay, now the writing is finished and now we can remove the SD card from our SD reader. And the next step is that we have to put the SD card into our Raspberry Pi. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is not connected to the power supply and then put your SD card in the Raspberry Pi. Now that the SD card is in the Raspberry Pi, connect your Raspberry Pi to the power supply you will see a red and a green LED. The green LED is blinking. Basically, what's happening now is that your Raspberry Pi gets flashed so that it can boot from a USB drive. This takes approximately 10 seconds, but if you want to be sure, just wait a couple of minutes and then unplug the power supply from the Raspberry Pi. So, let's unplug the power supply from the Raspberry Pi. And now you can remove the SD card as well, and you don't need the SD card anymore. From now on, we only need the SSD drive. The next step is that we have to install the Home Assistant image to our SSD drive. Make sure that you connected your SSD drive to your PC 
using the SATA2 USB cable to do this. For that, we can use the same software. So we go to Raspberry Pi Imager and we are going to choose OS. And in this case, we are going to other specific purpose OS. And there we choose for home assistance and home automation. And there we choose for home assistant. Now we're going to choose the home assistant version for our Raspberry Pi version. I've got a Raspberry Pi 4, so I'm going to choose this one, Home Assistant OS 7.5 Raspberry Pi 4. In your case, it might be maybe a Raspberry Pi 3 or that the OS is a new version. But we are going to click on this now. And now we're going to choose the storage. And the storage is our SD drive. And then we click right. Click yes. And now the Home Assistant image gets flashed onto the SSD drive. Let's wait until that is finished. So the flashing is finished and now we can remove the SSD drive from our PC and hook it up to our Raspberry Pi. Now we got everything prepared. So connect the SSD drive to the Raspberry Pi, connect your network cable to the Raspberry Pi, and then finally power up the Raspberry Pi by connecting the power cable to your Raspberry Pi. So when you powered up the Raspberry Pi, we can try to see if we can already find Home Assistant in our network. For that, we are going to our browser and we are entering the following URL. That is http homeassistant.local colon 8123. Enter. It might be that your system won't find this instance immediately. And that's perfectly normal. So if you have an error like this, don't worry. Just click on reload every time. It will show up eventually. Yes, it showed up. And what you see now is that uh, the system is preparing Home Assistant. It will take some time. Uh, it might take up to 20 minutes, but it will probably be less because you have an SSD drive. So let's wait for that. When the setup process is finished, you get to this screen. And now you can do two things. Either you start setting up Home Assistant from scratch or you're going to restore your backup. So I'm going to show you how to restore from a backup now. Now we're going to click alternatively, you can restore from a previous backup. I'm going to select the backup from my hard drive, which is full backup, Dotta in my case. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to restore the full backup. So I'm clicking on restore now. It's asking me if I'm sure. Yes, I am. And I'm clicking on restore again. And now we have to wait a little bit. In the meantime, we can open a new tab. And we can go to the URL homeassistant.local8123 again. Enter it. And see if it's already there. Yes, we succeeded. So restoring the backup was successful. Let's log in. And here we are with the same interface that I already had on my SD card, but now it's running from an SSD. So yeah, this is how it works. So this is how you set up Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi using an SSD drive. If this video helped you, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick the notification bell. And if you want to support me, you can do that by going to Patreon like these other guys did. That's really awesome. Thank you and bye bye. Thank you.